Hi. Joining me for this edition of Eye on the Arts is photographer Matthew Kaplan. Matthew, welcome to Eye on the Arts. Thank you for having me. Um, so you're going to be featured in an exhibit with uh, an artist named Kathy Los Rothburn from our region. Matthew, where are you from? Uh, well, I live in Chicago now, but mm -hmm. I grew up in northwest Indiana. I grew up in Whiting, well, Whiting Robertsdale. Yeah. And uh, it's a part of uh, the area that I still come to uh, regularly. My mom still lives in the house I grew up in, and mm -hmm. I still have a lot of relatives there. So, yeah. so you, uh, how did you get interested in photography? I was uh, in high school, the high school photographer for Clark High School yearbook, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and then I just stuck with it. Uh, I've been a photographer since the 70s, really, huh. and I just have always enjoyed photography. Yeah. Then how yeah. did you get interested in, in photographing industrial landscapes? Well, growing up there, um, it's you know you're surrounded by industry, especially sure. where I lived. Uh -huh. uh, there were um, factories, you know, half a mile away on all sides. And it was, um, when I was a teenager, I probably found it a little bit uh, off-putting and, mm -hmm. you know, smelly and everything. But uh, after becoming a professional and moving to Chicago and then visiting there, not living there anymore, uh, I just found the industrial landscape uh, just really attracted me. And then as the years went on and it started to change, uh, I decided that I really needed to start photographing it to capture, you know, what it is that really attracted me to the... Uh, to the scenes that you saw, especially yeah. as a lot of them were um, changing. You know. Well, I've always known Kathy as more of a, uh, a landscape artist, and now mm -hmm. she's been painting more recently industrial landscapes, which certainly ties in well with, uh, she's a watercolorist. Yes. But the, the, your work and her work do tie in very well together, I think. Well, they really do. I think her work's phenomenal, and I'm very you know, pl proud to be on the walls with her. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I really think she's been capturing um, kind of the, uh, you know, the evolution of the area as uh, a lot of these old buildings are um, kind of weathering and then nature is coming in and mm -hmm. taking, uh, doing what nature does. And yeah. I just think that it gives it kind of a ruinous, ruined effect, which I really like. It's mm -hmm. very romantic, I think. Well, this exhibit is a collaboration between South Shore Arts and the Calumet Heritage Partnership, which um, seeks to provide um, a, a sense of historical context for the industrial landscape in the Calumet region as a whole. Um, and and they're uh, launching, I know, a series of events this year, a mm -hmm. train ride and a, bi a, a bike ride and some other events along with but starting with this exhibit at, at our South Shorts branch in downtown Hammond, called okay. Substation Number Nine. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's cool. It's an old uh, a Nipsco industrial or a Nipsco uh, electrical substation. Mm -hmm. So the opening is on the twenty eighth. The opening, the uh, the reception is the twenty eighth. I yes. believe the show actually opens up on the fifteenth. That's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes. you're right. But there's a reception for you and Kathy. Yes. Yeah. So, so people everyone can come. come and meet you. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Well, good. Thanks for being here to tell us about the well, show. Well, thanks so much for having me. And thank you for watching. We'll be back again next week with another edition of Eye on the Arts. Eye on the Arts is made possible in part by South Shore Arts, the Indiana Arts Commission, and the National Endowment for the Arts, a federal agency.